Uh, my next door neighbors, they were on the TV as missing people. So I thought I'd see if their family has uh, remedied that. Um, I was hoping, and then also a friend of mine from the gym. I haven't been able to get in touch with him. His phone's out. And it, it's such a dis easy decision to stay, I think. So, so if they made that decision, you know, I, it happens so fast. I think that they they would have been in, in serious trouble. Yeah, I think there's gonna. Be, I think the, I think the toll here is gonna be a little bit more than what we can account for right now, just because I think the decisions were so easy. And if that fire would have happened two or three hours earlier, I think, you know, 50, 60, 70 percent of the people would have been in serious trouble. We didn't have 10 minutes to get out of there. We, we really had to go. It was already inflamed downtown. It was already, all the local restaurants and stuff were already engulfed in flames. And, uh, uh, you know, power poles were falling over the, the uh, street and uh, a power line fell on my car. And fortunately, they had shut off the power. But all the stuff that we had grown up with for years in you know, our landmark restaurants and stuff like that, they're gone, just totally in, in one, in one day. They're, they're just, the whole town basically was just wiped off the map to look at it that way. It's just almost too much to, to take. It really is a strain on you. So now I have to reinvent myself all over again and start over in creating a life, basically. My husband's big monster bouncy green truck, it's sitting on, beautiful really. All four tires melted and it's all now all white. My husband's <laughs> monster truck and our blue Smurf home is to the ground and dad's truck is now white and gray. The tires are literally melted to the ground. Now, you know, before you always have hope, you don't want to give up. But now we know. Now it's time to fight back.